Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am um, doing another video using some of the lovely vinyl from My Punk Broidery. Um, this was sent to me by, by my friend Lori. Hi Lori. Um, and I will link to their website in the description box below. But isn't this gorgeous? I wanted to show you the whole piece before I cut into it. It's, I mean, it's embossed. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Um, and it is backed um, with this, you know, like fabric here. Um, and what I'm gonna do today is make some pockets out of this for the journal that I'm working on for Banya at SS Digital Studio. Um, and I'm gonna have to cut this and I'm not gonna do that on camera because, um, it's just too difficult for me. Um, I'm gonna be using, last time I tried to cut it with my, you know, my slidey uh, <laughs> Fiskars rotary cutter, um, but this time I'm gonna use a handheld ro rotary tool. Um, and I just, I struggle with that. And if I try to, you know, show you, it's just gonna probably be even worse. But I wanted to show you the piece before I cut it. So if you give me just a minute, I will cut the pieces that I want to use and then I will show you how I'm going to turn them into pockets. Okay, so I cut these down to approximately four and a quarter by three and a quarter to make my pockets. And I also cut um, some like cardstock I had because I'm going to sew these to the cardstock, um, mostly because <laughs> I feel like it'll be easier to attach them to the journal if they are on paper. Um, I'm not sure because I'm not like a vinyl expert. I'm not sure what the best glue is for this like felty um, backing. And I'm guessing that Fabri-Tac would probably work um, just fine. I just realized this is kind of not straight. Um, however, I don't know that for certain. And I'd rather just, you know, have something easily glued. So the paper will glue onto the journal page um, and everything will be sewn in place. Does that make sense? Um, I guess I could just sew around um, the three sides and then you would have like a double pocket. Um, that's uh, that's a possibility. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that or not. Um, I think in this case, I'm not going to do that. So I will go ahead and sew these together and then um, I'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, so here's what they look like sewn. Now, <laughs> I just want to preface this by saying that I have never, never sewn on the vinyl before. Um, so it's a little bit messy, but I think it looks fine. Um, I sort of like that messy stitch look anyway, but you know, down here we had sort of a catastrophe. <laughs> um, but I think they look really cute. So what I've done is I've pulled out some pieces I thought we could use to decorate, um, these a little bit. I have some, I think this is sackcloth, um, and I'm gonna stamp on it. Um, with this little just Stampin' Up stamp that I have. Um, and I need a piece of something scrap paper-ish or something to put under here. And I didn't, didn't think that through. Let's just use a post-it note. That'll work. And I have uh, this forest green stays on. And I thought that might look nice, I hope. Um, so let's, oh, let's ink this up. Hopefully, I'm just gonna test it over here real quick. Okay, it needs, it's, this is a used ink pad, um, that came with a bunch of crafting supplies that I purchased um, at an estate sale. So it's not the best. I think it will be okay though. Let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. There, that worked. 
looks nice. Okay, and let's do the other one. Just need to use some elbow grease. <laughs> Press a little harder on this ink pad. I could probably find a reinker for it. I just haven't I haven't tried. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. There we go. Perfect. I'll set that up here so I can remind myself to look for um, a reinker for that. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna trim this down now. Just a tad. The fray is super easy, so saying I'm going to fray it just a tad. Um, it's probably going to end up more frayed than I anticipated, but that's okay. There we go. All right. And we'll go ahead and do this one too. I might just decorate one um, so you can see, because uh, I think that they'll probably be very similar. Um, but we'll go ahead and at least trim that down and then I can get rid of my pile of scrap here. All right, and I think I want it, let's see, I'm not sure which one I wanna do. Let's do this, let's do this one. And, okay, I also grabbed, I. this was given to me in Happy Mail and I have not used it yet. This is so cool. I think it's drywall tape. Um, I wonder if it tears, oh, it does, okay. Um, it is just so cool and it's, you know, polka dotty, <laughs> which um, I sort of have a thing for polka dots. I think if you get it wet, it would be sticky um, on the back. I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna, uh, tearing looks nicer, I guess. I've, I have not used this yet, um, so I'm, I'm excited. I just thought it would add some texture in the background here. And I, you know, I don't know, I might be crazy. Come on. And what else did I grab? I have this um, German measuring tape. I actually have this for sale by the yard in my shop if you're interested. Um, but it's kind of fun for collaging and that sort of thing. Uh, maybe we can find a way to add it in here. I think we need that big of a piece. There we go, maybe, or maybe we'll put it on top like that. What else do I have? Um, let's grab, let's see what we can find here. These are Tim Holtz phrases and words stickers. Um, 
I always take forever to figure out what I want to use. Just need to remember that this is a botanical journal. So kind of keep it a bit nature themed if I can. I've used a lot of those. All right, I decided on She Dreamed Beautiful Dreams for this one. And I'm just gonna add some green ink here. And I'm also gonna grab um, a bit of lace. I feel like we need something else. These stickers aren't sticky anymore. So I'll have to add some glue to that. And then I will put that right here, I think, or down here. Okay, let's go ahead and glue. I'll grab oh, my fabric glue. Oh, that's a that's just a nice mess, isn't it? <laughs> I love these sugar bell bottles and um I finally found the silicone caps for them. It's just perfect. All right, let's do this one layer at a time. So, let's wonder, no, I think it's fine. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue here. I want it to, I want it to stick out a bit. Just stick to that remaining glue. I don't want it. I'm gonna, yeah, I think that will work. And then I want, do I want that there? Or do I want it, where do I want that? I kind of wish. Um, I don't want the glue to seep, you know, to like seep through that sackcloth too much. Um, Cause you will see, you will see it if it does. And I think I'm gonna put that there. like that. And then that will be a little pocket in my journal. Oh, I think that turned out really cute. All right, I'm not gonna do the other one um, on camera because I'm gonna do basically the same thing, just, um, you know, obviously I'll use a different quote and that kind of thing, but it will be um, very similar. So uh, yeah, I hope that that was inspiring guys um, and that you'll go do something crafty today and um, I will be back soon. Um, I hope you have a fabulous day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um, let me know what you think of the vinyl. Uh, like I said, it will be the 
the website for my punk broidery will be in the description box below so you can go and check it out if you'd like to give it a try all right guys have a fabulous day i will talk to you soon take care bye